Hey guys, we've been making some more uh, sweet pickles today. We had some family over for breakfast this morning and so I recruited Sam to help me um, cut up the cucumbers. Um, so that's of course what we just saw and um, then after you get them all sliced up and put in the whatever you're using for brining, I was using a stock pot in that case. Um, I also use, you know, a food safe bucket, anything like that. So once you um, get the cucumbers all sliced up and in there, then you um, sprinkle salt, which is what I was talking about there, that you want to use um, either tanning salt or kosher salt. Um, anything that doesn't have, you know, isn't iodized, um, doesn't have anti-caking agents or anything like that added to it. Um, and then you also put ice on top of it and then refrigerate it for, the recipe says three to four hours, it's been about six now, just because it gets away from me, but that's fine. Um, so right now I'm getting my brine ready. So I've got my sugar, um, celery seed, allspice, and whole mustard seed all in here. And I'm going to add my apple cider vinegar. Um, I'm just going to go ahead. This, you know, this isn't my recipe or anything, but it's free and available online. So I'm going to go ahead and link it in the description. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get the heat going under this to get it ready to go. And while it's heating up, I will be getting my jars washed and um, get the cucumbers up here. And I'll put them in a colander to drain and we'll get started on them. Alright, so I've got my jars all washed and ready to go. Got my... Um sliced brined cucumbers and the colander in the sink draining and my brine is boiling so going to set up the camera and get some get some jars packed Okay, so got them all in the canner out here on my propane cooker out on the porch to keep the heat out of the house. Um, and now I'm processing them and we're processing using low temperature pasteurization and I've mentioned that a few times recently. Um, but basically what it is is with most uh, canned foods when you process them, um, high acid canned foods use uh, boil the boiling water method. Uh, low acid usually use a pressure canner, um, but with the boiling water method, you would put them in a canner like this, covered with water. You bring it to a boil, process for a certain amount of time at a boil, and then you pull them out. Thing is, with pickles, when you process them like that, um, they can turn out really soft and mushy. So with low temperature pasteurization, we do not bring it to a full boil. Um, boiling happens at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and in this case, we're only bringing it to 180 degrees. We're gonna bring it up, it's at about 170 right now, but we're gonna bring it up to 180, which is right there, and maintain between 180 and 185. 
and you do have to monitor it pretty closely and adjust the heat um, you know as necessary to keep it within that range because if you do get over 185 then they, you know that's gonna lead to some softening which is what we're trying to avoid we're trying to get nice crisp uh, firm pickles so anyway that is what we're doing right now of course I'm waiting for it to get up there so I can start my timer um, and once you get to that within the, that range you have to maintain it there for 30 minutes so the reason that I'm talking about this particular method a lot um, is because I we I actually grew up making pickles that we didn't do a ton of canning when I was growing up but we did do pickles we did jam uh, we did tomatoes stuff like that um, so I, you know, it's not it's something I was familiar with but we actually used a different method when I was growing up uh, all we ever made were sweet pickles and it was um, an older recipe and there's uh, two things that are a little bit different about it one for keeping them firm you actually slice the cucumbers and then you soak them in a lime solution um, before adding the brine and everything and that um, lime helps firm up the pickles that actually makes them kind of brittle almost um, and the other thing about it is it's an open kettle recipe and if you're not familiar with that term open kettle means you basically you put the cucumbers in the brine and it's not this is not exclusive to pickles but basically whatever you're canning you put in the pot and cook it and bring it up to a boil and then you would sterilize your jars with boiling water but then you just put your boiling mixture of pickles or whatever it is in your jars put on your lids and that's it you let them cool down and they seal and everything you do not then go put them in a canner and do any additional processing so that's something I grew up doing personally I'm comfortable doing that still um, I actually made a batch of those this week but that is not uh, an approved canning method um, I've never heard of anybody having a problem with it personally but you know uh, it is because of the way it's done there is a small risk you know of foodborne illness happening whatever so bottom line is you know a lot of people who are especially just getting into canning everybody has different comfort levels but um, people who are just getting into it probably may not be comfortable doing something like that um, it's pretty normal to especially get, you know if you're new to it want to do everything by the book just to make sure you're safe because people get freaked out here about botulism so that's you know totally normal and understandable so bottom line is that's why I am talking about this method a lot because it is a, a safe approved method um, and even though I have these other methods for making good pickles that I might even share sometime there's just something this is more I guess um, accessible or well, that's not even the word I'm looking for um, a more beginner friendly method I suppose is what I'm getting at and um, you know I hate to see people uh, you know because I've done it before I have I have done pickles with the uh, boiling water method not knowing any better even though I, I kind of knew better I did grow up doing pickles like I said but when I was growing up all we ever did were sweet pickles neither of my parents liked dill pickles that wasn't something we ever made so when I grew up and got married both my husband and I do like dill pickles so I wanted to make some so I just found a recipe in a book you know did the recipe and it said to process them with the boiling water bath so that's what I did probably did two or three batches like that and of course you know I was excited you know I did pickles that was one of the first things I ever can when I was you know off on my own and all growing up and as an adult and you know I was excited and really proud of these pickles that I did and of course I spent time and and some money on it and only to find that when we went to eat them a month or two later that they were really soft and mushy and horrible <laughs> just not good crisp pickles like you want to eat 
And <clears throat> so, you know, that was pretty disappointing and discouraging. And, you know, in my case, at least I, I knew better. I was like, hey, this isn't right. I, I know I should be able to make better pickles than this because uh, I've done it before and I looked into it and, and found a better way to do it. But, you know, I think about that sometimes and I think, you know, what if that was somebody who was had never canned anything in their life, had never even known anybody who did it, and they're trying to get into this, and that's, what if that's the first thing they ever did was make some pickles and, you know, just didn't know better and, and did it with the boiling water method, and that's what they ended up with was these bad pickles and thought that that's, was just it, that <laughs> that's what home canning was like, and, you know, for some people, I imagine that could be really discouraging. It could possibly put pe some people off of it entirely and, you know, might never try again, might never try anything again because, you know, they think, well, why, you know, I put all this time and, and energy and money into it and, you know, for what? Why, why these are terrible? Why wouldn't I just go buy it at the store? Those are better. So if it seems like I'm talking about this a lot, that's why. I'm just, I'm on a mission to save people from mushy pickles. And, um, and I'll probably mention this again, but yeah, I just, I, I want people to know that this is a better way to do it and that it will give you better pickles than the boiling water method. You know, boiling water's great for a lot of things, not for pickles, in my experience anyway, I'm not saying. There's never been a good pickle that came out from that. But anyway, so low temperature pasteurization. Look it up if you don't already know how to do it. Um, this particular recipe that I'm doing, like I said, I will link it in the description, but you can find it on the NCHFP website, which is the National Center for Home Food Preservation website. Um, and they've got several recipes on there for pickles and whatnot, and they also do have a more detailed explanation on how to do the low temperature pasteurization. Don't mind my chickens trying to roost over here. So anyway, I'm going to go check and see if these are up to temperature yet. They are up to temperature. Hard to see there, but but that's 180 there. So it is. It's like at 183 right now, which is perfect. I did go ahead and turn the heat down just a touch so it won't get too hot and I'm gonna hang out here on the porch and just you know be checking it every few minutes and make sure it stays within that range um, got my timer set for 30 minutes and we'll get these processed okay they're all done and I got them pulled out of the canner so we did uh, 12 pints um, I got a couple of the jars of the lengthways slices like this, and the rest are just um, regular slices. I did also, I think there were four or five jars, I, um, I think five, that I put some onion in. Right here on the bottom, that's what that is. And that's a variation that the recipe lists that you can do, and I've never tried that before, but um, as I was packing them, I could tell um, I wasn't going to have enough cucumbers to fully pack all the jars, so I thought, well, why not? throw a little bit of onion in a few of them and see if we like that. So anyway, there they all are. Um, I'm just gonna leave them outside here until they cool down and then I will take them in later. Just real quick, I was making pickles and Maisie saw me and she asked for pickles so um, I thought I would show, this is I think my last jar left from last year so I did these in August of last year. It's not quite um, a year old yet, but I still thought I would go ahead and open it and just show you what the texture's like. So, they're, they're flexible, but Did you hear that? I don't know if you can really hear when it snaps like that, but it does, it still has a bite to it. It's not mushy. It has, I pinch it like that and it doesn't just mush it. And it does have a little bit of snap to it, but it's, it's hard to tell. It would be easier to show you if these were like spears that you could snap really easily. But anyway, these still have 
good bite to them, which is what we're after. So that is what they look like. The batch I did today is the third batch I've done so far this year. I'm not sure how many I will do, but I definitely want to do more than I did last year because we went through um, pretty much all of them. Like I say, I think that one I just showed you is the last jar I have from last year and and I wanted to use more of them and I kind of uh, restrained myself because I didn't want to run out, but I did some, several more with the vertical slices and and yeah, they, they are one of my favorite pickles. Um, I'm going to go ahead and link the, dis uh, link the recipe in the description, like I said. Um, but yeah, these are some of my dills from last year. Um, and I'm probably gonna be doing some dills soon, so maybe I'll do a video on that and show you how those are. I don't wanna open it right now, but anyway. If you only take one thing away from this video, if you're still watching, low temperature pasteurization, <laughs> look it up. Um, anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys, and thanks for hanging out with me.